Welcome everyone. In this video, we're going to solve a couple of more problems uh, on linear transformations. And uh, that's from chapter three, of course. So let's do, this is number six, section 3.1. So we are given that relation and the question if, if that's a linear transformation, why or why not? And if you want to prove that if for linear transformation, always write these two properties. The additivity property, we have to have T of U plus V be equal to T of U plus T of V. And the homogeneity property, T of U equals to K times T of U. If one of those properties fail, then you don't, you don't have to do the second one. You can just stop there and say, it's not a linear transformation. If you want to do it, then you can go ahead and do it. So let's try this one. Now for this one, let's call the vector u have the components x1, y1, and the vector v having the components x2, y2. So t of x1, y1, you can <clears throat> just write that, excuse me, y1 minus 3, x1 plus 5, and t of x2, y2 is going to be y2 minus 3, x2 plus 5. So now if we write, let's go over number one, and I'm going to start from this side. T of u plus t of v, here we substitute this t of x1, y1 plus t of x2, y2. Then of course, you know that transformation is from here is y1 minus 3x1 plus 5, and that one is y2 minus 3x2 plus 5. Now these are the components of two vectors. You can just write this as y1 plus y2 minus 6 by combining this and then x1 plus x2 and 5 plus 5 is 10. Then if we do the left side of this equation, let's see if we get the same thing. So t of x1 plus x2, y1 plus y2 will give us y1 plus y2, again, that minus 3 from the definition, and x1 plus x2 plus 5. So as you see, number 1 is not equal to number 2. This sh should have been minus 3 and plus 5. So if they're not equal, so it's not a additive, so not a linear transformation, you can stop right here. But the next step is optional. So what you can say t of kxy is that equal to t of kx ky. So here t of, if we start from this side, t of kx uh, kx ky, can be written as ky plus 3 and kx plus 3. And that's not equal to k times t of xy. Because again, if you multiply, you're not going to get the same result. So that shows it's not homogeneous. So this is not a linear transformation. And again, the second part, whichever, which part, whichever part is easier for you, you can try that. And if it doesn't work, then it's not a linear transformation. But if one is satisfied, then for sure you have to do the second one to see this, if the second one is satisfied also. Let's go over number nine, section 3.3. .3. So here you're given a couple of linear transformations. So be very careful when it says linear transformations because if it's a linear transformation, then you know these two properties are satisfied. But let's see what it says. We want to see if T2 rho T1 KV is the same as K times T2 rho T1 V. So if that satisfies the homogeneity properties. So, and it says proof. So let's start. Now we know by definition T2 rho T1 V is T2 of T1, and that's also a vector, but we don't have to write that here. So let's start, use that definition. 
And again, I put the no T1 and T2 are both linear transformation. So both satisfy the following. So if we start T2 row T1 KV, that's the same thing as T2 of T1 KV. That's a linear transformation. So I can write that as T2 of K times T1 of D. But again, T2 itself is a linear transformation. So we can, and that's just a vector. So we can just take that out and put that as K times T2 of T1 of D. And guess what? When you write that, now you can change that to K times T2 rho T1 B. So this is homogeneous and it's proved. I think that's good enough for this video and I'll probably solve more problems in my next uh, video. Thank you for watching and have a great one.